Hello everyone, Vic Showman here, and today I have a video on a special weapon, and that weapon is the Bane of Sorrow from the Crown of Sorrow raid. Now, I will like to start off the video with saying that I actually already recorded this video, but uh, my Elgato is being stupid, and it wouldn't export the footage, so I actually had to end up deleting that recording but it's fine because i can just i can just do it again it's okay it's all cool but here we are again reviewing the main of star for a second time but it's all right that's 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 what you gotta do right so this weapon is a high impact machine gun i think it's the only one in the game but correct me if i'm wrong i could be wrong for a machine gun the role i have on this isn't really crazy so what i got on mine is corkscrew rifling small bore a pendant mag, ricochet rounds, snapshot sights, and underdog. Underdog is actually a, uh, many of you guys that are coming, that play back in D1 probably remember underdog. I personally wasn't the biggest fan of this perk. Basically anything that helps out this weapon's reload speed is, is, is very helpful. I'm just not the biggest fan of underdog specifically, just because it's quite situational. This weapon isn't really made for, I guess, DPSing. This weapon has an ability like no other to stagger bosses. Honestly, might be the most stagger prone weapon, is that a, is that a thing, in the game. The amount that this staggers weapons is insane. And that's where this weapon really shines and you can just one tap the small adds to the head from pretty good ranges too in the crucible you can actually hit 48 to this thing does 48 to the head and that's with no damage buffs and you can hit them for that damage from pretty far away so if their health is low enough you can actually four tap most guardians it's crazy so I got this thing masterwork for range and I have a counterbalance stock on it I would recommend either a counterbalance stock or maybe even a boss spec would work it would work as well um now the stability on this thing it's not terrible but it can be a little bit hard to handle but that is kind of expected of this archetype this high high impact archetype of machine gun because they tend to be pretty bouncy it goes from left to right a lot it's not impossible to handle but a counterbalance stock does help keep it in line a little bit better so Overall, I've been loving this weapon, absolutely enjoying it. So I'll first start off the video by taking you guys into the the Lost Sector on Titan and showing you guys how much this actually staggers Greg, the the ogre. And it, it does honestly. I when I was using it on him, he was barely even able to touch me because of how much he was staggering. And then after we do that, I'll take it into some mayhem, where we can hopefully manage to get some ammo. All right, I'll see you guys there. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys, um, you can actually use this weapon as like a makeshift scout rifle. As you can tell, it does very good damage to just these normal adds. It only takes one round to kill them to the head. It, it's very good at doing the chunk damage to these enemies. Very good at that. So if you don't have any long-range weapons, honestly, this weapon could fill that role. So now that we're here at Greg, I'll show you guys the crazy chunk damage and staggering potential that this gun has. And you'll notice that he'll barely even have, as long as I'm hitting my crits, he'll barely have any time to even, to even attack me because of how much this staggers bosses. So as you can see right there, he barely even did any damage to me because he was constantly shaking and flinching the entire time. So when you're using this weapon, you just gotta remember it's strong suits. And it, it's that, well, although it's not crazy when it comes to DPS by any means, there are better weapons out there. You gotta remember what it's good at, and that is its stagger potential. Because think about it, if you're in a strike, you may not be delivering the most DPS sometimes, but you'll be protecting not only yourself, but your teammates. Because he'll barely the boss will barely even have a chance to attack any of you. I honestly can't wait to take this into some strikes and just melting bosses with it, because they won't be able to do anything, frankly. So now that I've showed you guys its stagger potential on bosses, 
let's head into a crucible match i'll try mayhem i don't know how well that's gonna work out but let's head to a crucible match and i'll show you guys how much damage this guy this gun does on guardians all right the dead cliffs i think i can get behind this so when i get the weapon you're going to notice how much this gun absolutely just melts guardians it does a very good job of doing that honestly might be my favorite machine gun to use in the crucible not sure i don't want to make any statements yet oh he just took my heavy isn't that great <laughs> we're off to a great start honestly all right guys so i'm gonna be honest um that last game did not really work out too well so we hopped into a different game here and hopefully if i don't get sniped we can get it off the spawn wouldn't that be nice and wow everyone's hard scoping on the other side to be expected but it's fine please nobody take it please nobody take it please nobody take it oh my gosh that's a sentinel that is a freaking sentinel why are you there and why did you not show up on my map all right so we managed to get some heavy here hopefully we manage to keep it as well wouldn't that be nice Woohoo! all right hopefully i can show you guys some gameplay of this that would be quite delightful if I can manage to do that. Forty-eight to the head. That only took one shot to finish off that guy. Don't get hit by that. And he killed him. Or not? Wait. All right. There you guys have it. I just tap fired it. You can actually get tap the trigger on this as well, which would definitely come in handy, especially because the fact that you can just tap trigger this from such long distances away and still do the full amount of damage. Nope, don't take the heavy. Don't you pick that up. Don't you dare pick that up. Thank you. Nope. You're in the lead. All right. Oh, he's killing all of them. Oh my gosh, no. It's a Goldie. Fudge, why is it a Goldie? Whoa! Hold the f- What? The okay, I'm gonna- Wait, let's play that again. Play that again. Hold the freaking phone. You guys saw that. You guys all literally just- You all saw that, right? I'm not going crazy. It's fine. We got some more. I'm chill now. I'm chill. I promise. Don't! Oh, I thought he was going to, like, blade barrage me, because knowing my luck. As you can tell, it melts pretty fast. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, yeah. I know you're nodding your head right now. That's a scout rifle. And I don't want to intervene with that. And that is a bow! Wow! Okay, I feel quite claustrophobic. Okay, you know, I want to call bull on that. I, can I please call bull? Why am I still getting hurt? Alright, alright, so we got that guy. We got that guy, alright. That's a, that's a golden gun, alright. You know, luckily, I'm honestly surprised some people are just, like, leaving the heavy B. Because they're like, you know, I don't need no heavy man. I got my super... So please, leave the heavy bee. I will gladly come by and pick that up again. Alright. Is somebody hiding here or are they above? Tap trigger this guy. BAM! You do even like this thing, you can just map people with this gun. It's ridiculous. Oh, let's... We don't have a lot of time. Let's try getting this heavy in the back. So... Nope! No! <laughs> Great. The colony, just what I need. Should be over here, I believe. As long as nobody, you know, there it is. Hey, sorry, bud. I'm gonna have to take this. I'm going to have to take this. Okay. All right. I'm actually. Can you die right there, please? Please just keel over and die. I'm a terrible person, aren't I? All right. So we got some heavy here. That's a Dawnblade, and he is going to kill me. Oh my gosh. Please don't. Literally, please don't. That is a Sentinel. Wow. My luck is A plus right now. It is so good. And not going to lie, I'm a little mad because I got such good gameplay for you guys. But guess what? It's deleted now. And I don't have it because it never got exported. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, as you can tell. 
All right. You know, we're getting it pretty often, but there's a bunch of supers. So that just make our lives easier. Right there. Got melted. That's a brave barrage. Can't you just be using Golden Gun? Why do you have to be one of those people? That's two. All right. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting gameplay. Look at us. We're doing the thing. We're doing the thing. And that's a blade barrage. Of course, it's always the blade barrage, man. All right. You want to mess with me, bro? You can mess with me. Let's go at it. All right, let's go at it right here, right now. That's a wow. That is a no bomb. Hey, no, nope, no, nope, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm gonna kill you. Let's kill you. Okay, that works. Look at that A plus gameplay. Wow, this is what you came here for. All right, you guys. I promise this is gonna be the last game. It's gonna be the last game, and I'm gonna get such good flipping gameplay for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. I'm running past all the enemies. You know exactly where I'm going. I'm going straight to the heavy. He missed his blade barrage. We're gonna pop you. I'm gonna get hit by a hammer, and it's going great. Oh. All right, all right. We got some. We got some. Melted. Almost melted. Yeah, that's a super. Oh. All right, all right. You know, more some more heavy spawning up. All right, so if we can wait for the for them to like waste their supers, and that's a and, ah, no. Stop it. Stop. Stop. No, you're not doing this to me. No, you're dead. No. All right, you kill him. I don't care who kills him. Just kill him. I need the heavy. I need the heavy kills, as you can tell. I, all right, we we ran out of ammo, but we got him through the grass. You know. That's something, right? Sniping through grass. That that was everything about that was unsafe. And there's another guy! Do you have to let me have that? And now my teammate's gonna take it! No! Stop! Will you stop pushing me? Oh my gosh! Bro, get the out of my way! No! What is wrong with you have problems! You know that? You have problems! Good, you're dead! I'm taking this now. Sneak in. Cop it. Run away. Next gen stress. Uh-uh. This is mine. Shoo. It's mine. It's li it is my- Go. I don't care you're here first. It's mine. I'm making a video. It's mine. We're both gonna die. Stop. What is wrong with you? I'm gonna follow you until you're dead. Got it? ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it! You, you was invisible! You have problems! You have- I don't care about your crappy grenade launcher! Stop stealing my ammo, bro! What is wrong with you?! Alright, you guys, so... We got a little heated towards the end there, not gonna lie, I- I was- I was pretty salty. I mean, I was pretty salty about the- the match, but also because... I, I honestly felt like I got better gameplay in my last recording, but that recording's gone now, so, you know, there's, not, there's nothing I can do about it. So, here you guys go. I hope I gave you at least decent gameplay to give you an idea of how this thing is in the Crucible. Uh, my aim was... It, was it, it wasn't the greatest, but we got through it, you know? I got the... I got the kills. Woo! I did my thing. All right. So it's pretty crazy in the Crucible. Honestly, I would go to the lengths of saying maybe it might even be the best machine gun in the Crucible. The fact that it can four tap to the head is pretty crazy. And it's a machine gun. And you can, it still hits at full damage from like pretty freaking far away. So in the Crucible, it's pretty crazy. Now as for PV, PVE, just a little bit of a recap. So the weapon, I think it looks good. I mean, it looks... It's unique. It doesn't really work as shaders, but it's unique. I like the whole idea of bringing back like the old weapons bungee. Great idea. Great name. Looking pretty sexy. Of the Queen's Machine Gun from Destiny 1. I can't remember the name specifically, but I think it's so awesome that they're kind of bringing us these like Destiny 1-esque weapons through this raid. I mean, yeah, they're pretty rusted, but I kind of like the aesthetic look, you know? 
But yeah, you can get some great rolls on this. Anything to help out the reload would be amazing because the reload is definitely his biggest weakness. The stability really isn't that bad, but anything to help that out would work too as well, especially if you wanted to use it in the Crucible. Like I said, you can get Feeding Frenzy on that. That'd be my biggest recommendation. Rampage, or no, was it Kill Clip? No, I think it was, it might, I think it was Rampage, yeah. Feeding Frenzy Rampage is possible. Amazing roll. There's actually one perk, I forgot the name of it, Demolitionist. I think that's what it's called. You throw the grenade and actually reload your magazine. That'd be another great perk to have. Or if you're lucky enough to get the um, the curated roll with Outlaw Firefly, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I would absolutely love that. That's also a roll. Mine's pretty underwhelming compared to all of those other rolls, but it's fine. We you know we got through it, and I'm still gonna continue to use it in strikes and just literally stagger the crap out of bosses. So try not to pay too much attention to its weaknesses. You know, because in terms of DPS, yeah, it's not amazing, but you gotta remember what this gun is good at, and that is chunk damage, flinching, and staggering. And this gun staggers, like hardcore staggers. I showed you when I was shooting that ogre, he barely did, he literally could barely touch me because he was just constantly flinching all the time. And I honestly am... Uh, even though it's honestly I feel like it's a pretty good trade-off because even though you're not doing the best DPS possible You know compared to other weapons not only are you protecting yourself You're protecting your teammates because you're constantly going to be staggering the boss And I'm curious about how well this is actually going to stagger strike bosses because if you can stagger strike bosses You are going to be an immense help for your team So there you guys have it the bane of sorrow. I really like it I've really been enjoying this weapon. It is a high impact frame, which is definitely different and it really brings me back to the D1 days. So there you guys have it, the Bane of Sorrow Legendary High Impact Crown of Sorrow Raid Machine Gun. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, and until next time, remember to stay as positive as possible, and I'll see you guys in the next video.